The Buffalo Bills are heading into Cincinnati for Sunday night football. And here are my three things to look for during the game. First of all, and this is not a thing to look for during the game, but it's going to have to bring up some memories heading into Cincinnati um, with what happened with Hamlin last year and um, both for both teams and uh, for both training staffs doctors, everybody that was involved to have another game in Cincinnati this year. So <clears throat> our thoughts and prayers with everybody involved in that. But back to the first three the, or the three things to look for. Um, my first thing is, are the quarterbacks in a zone? Because both Josh Allen and Joe Burrow can play out of the zone and not really look like they're on that day. If one of them's in the zone and the other one isn't, game over. Um, if Josh Allen's in his own and Joe Burrow's not, the Bills will win and vice versa. So there's my first thing to look for. Um, these are both really, really talented quarterbacks for both teams. And um, if they're both in the zone, we're going to have a great game to watch. If neither one of them are in the zone that day, it might be an interesting game to watch. <laughs> so... That's my number one thing to look for. Which quarterback's in the zone during the game? And um, I think if the Bills can keep up tempo, Josh can stay in the zone. We've just got to keep that tempo going and keep rolling with it. So uh, there's my first thing. The second thing to look for is what's going to happen on first downs. First downs are so important in this game. If you end up getting a penalty or losing yardage on first down and put yourself behind the change, it just makes it – so hard to um, keep drives going. So what you can do on first down, and um, you see that on the defensive side of the ball because um, when Daquan Jones and Matt Milano both went down in the London game, thanks London game, he also apparently took out Dawson Knox for a few days as well. Um, anyway, first downs have, have become more of a headache for the Bills and uh, really stopping the run has become more of a headache for the Bills without both of those guys. I mean, Milano and and, and Daquan Jones, both uh, really big impact players on our team. So um, if you can get four or five yards on first down, I'm talking about both teams, it's going to be a lot easier to continue drives and keep moving the ball down the field. So what you do on first down is the second thing to look for. And um, the third thing I'm, I'm really interested to see in this game is will our new players that just came on this week play and will they um, play well for us? And they may have to because, first of all, like I just said, the Bills have been having um, trouble stopping the run. So they add Joseph in there. He's a big body. Boy, he just reminds me so much of the size of Jordan Phillips. And... Um, to have him in there and, and uh, try to stop the run and those gashes on first downs or whatever down it is that he's playing um, could really, really help. And um, I didn't know if Rasul Douglas was going to be able to play this week for the Bills because obviously he's in football shape. He's been playing for the Packers, but um, there's different verbiage on each any team you go to. And you've got to understand the language while you're out there, you know. Um, cause one word's going to mean something completely different and you, you, you don't know, uh, the verbiage, then you're going to have a hard time playing out there. So it may take a couple weeks to get used to it, but I mean, they did put Kyrie Elam on IR this week and now Christian Benford shows up on the injured sheet with a hamstring problem. So Rasul may get a lot of downs in this game. I, I, I mean, there's only so many snaps that Dane Jackson can take on one side and, and uh, what is it, Jamarcus Ingram on the other side? I mean, we're running out of DBs, so corners. So, um, yeah, I hope Douglas is ready to go. <laughs> so we'll see how that all plays out, but those are my three things to look for. Will the quarterbacks be in their zones? Will we be able to do things on first down and stop the Bengals from being successful on first downs? And will our new players have an impact on the game? Will they even play? I mean, you don't. You can make them inactive for the week if you want to. But um, thoughts with Demar. 
I'm with the whole team as they start the game. But then it's it's a big, big game. Um, I think it might be the first game that the Bills are going in as underdogs to the game. And the way the Bengals played last week against the 49ers with coming out with a big victory, I can understand that status in Cincinnati. So um so be a big game and what a day of football Sunday's gonna be with wake up early, watch the Dolphins and the um Chiefs play in Germany, and then I believe the Cowboys and the Eagles are playing and the Chief, the Chargers playing the Jets. I mean there's some good games to watch. So and then we end it with the uh, Bills at the Bengals. So with that I'll say go Bills, and please, please always remember, God loves you, and so do I.